The latest state lawmaker to face expulsion because of sexual harassment claims. Republican Senator Randy Gard Baumgartner survived a late night vote. This comes one month after the House voted to expel Democrat Steve Lebsack. Our political specialist Sean Boyd on that story tonight. Sean, it was mostly a party line vote that still fell well short of expulsion. Yeah, Jim, one Republican did break ranks, but it takes two thirds of the chamber to expel a lawmaker, so it didn't come close. The vote came after three and a half hours of at times passionate debate. It has been torture to hear accusations made that I could not answer. Senator Randy Baumgartner, accused of grabbing and slapping a legislative aide's buttocks, says the accusations are false, but he says they have caused him to take a long look in the mirror. It has made me want to make sure that the standards of my conduct I bring to this work is beyond reproach. But Democrats demanded more. All we've asked for throughout this process is accountability. Either we have a sexual harassment policy or we don't. This vote bears the weight of your legacy. I ask for justice. I ask for honor. I ask for your I vote. The accuser, too, spoke through Senator Lois Court. When I reported what happened in 2016, it was time to tell the truth. But Republicans said there was simply no evidence, pointing to the investigators finding that Baumgartner was incredible because he was condescending and defensive. This is a horrible, horrible investigation. It is neither filled with justice or credibility. What we are engaging in, to me, is somewhat of a public lynching. The vote split the chamber, but the Senate president hoped it would ultimately bring it together. I want to be able to point to this event and to be able to say this is where things hinged. This is where things got better. This is where things changed. Baumgartner recused himself from the vote. In all, there have been three complaints filed against him. Two of them are still open investigations. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.